Warp of Dr. Brain. This is a game from 1996, and its purpose is to test your reaction time, your deductive reasoning, and I guess just everything that makes you smart. So we're gonna play it. This is this is an old game. This is as old as it gets. That name is taken. What do you mean that name is taken? Is this online? Oh, I already have a save file. In testing his latest invention, Dr. Brain thought he was merely teleporting himself into last week to find his car keys. Good joke. Beautiful joke. And there's a record player, even though this is In the future. In actuality, he hopelessly thrust Classic. himself into the unexplored regions of the space-time discontinuum. He teleports himself by undoing the fly of the universe. And here he comes with the best graphics in the world and a... Okay, so I'm just gonna use my mouse and just... Uh, Type okay. in your name. Okay, so this game features a bunch of different mini games here, and um, you can play it on easy, expert level. There's expert level, genius level, and then there's genius level. And I never played genius level as a kid because I was terrified. Basically, you take this little booby, and you try to eat everything and spread and mitosis and meiosis and try to kill all the yellow ones. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a go. Go. Okay, so that's how you- okay, this- this other guy is spreading like mad. I don't have the micromanagement to be able to do this as well as they're doing it. I gotta eat this peanut. Uh, it's so intense. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna make the first attack. I'm, this guy's gonna help. They're both gonna start attacking me. I'm really scared. Okay, I'm attacking him. I'm attacking the other boobies. I'm attacking the other boobies. Uh, we gotta fight for resources. My other guys here are doing nothing. No, no, my guys are so weak. They're eating me. This is stressful. I don't like this. I need to make more of me. Ah! Okay, no, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare suck me. Don't you suck me. Ah! No, they're surrounding me! Genius level! How is this a game for kids? You wanna get the drop on the other amoeba. You wanna... You wanna get the first attack. Okay, you know what? It's safe to say I lost. Spelunking! Let's try spelunking. As a lungfish, your job is to find your way through the underwater caverns to the exit. This is Dr. Brain. Do these pants go with this shirt? Okay, shut up. Dr. Brain talks through this old school microphone. He likes to make little jokes, even though this is the year two quadrillion. Okay, so you cannot touch anything else here. Oh wait, I forgot this is easy level. Let's just, let's just start with easy level for this one, just so you guys can actually see me win one. Cause, god damn it. So I need to eat these bubbles, otherwise I will turn purple, and I will die. I need to go through here, and make it out to the other side. Seems pretty easy, right? Uh, it's kind of peaceful, isn't it? It's one of the most peaceful games you can play. Knit this thing here. It sucks you in! I thought you were able to get air there. But hey, we did it. And he does a little goopy, disgusting, coughing, winning dance. Put away the scales. You're about ready to move up the food chain. I think it's time to try genius, genius level. level. I'm gonna make my dad proud. I'm a genius. I'm going in. What do you guys think of these graphics? Aren't they just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Can't you just see it so crystal clear? Okay, so there's a lot of blowfish in this one, and I just don't see the presence of many bubbles. The guy in the hat, I've played this game when I was six years old enough to know that that guy in the hat, he leeches onto you, and it's a terrifying scene. Now, I never played expert level when I was a kid because it gets pretty dark the lower you go, and truth be told, it scared me. As you can tell, I'm no longer a nice, pretty green. I'm running out of air. I miss those two bubbles, but there's just no time. Okay, I really need these four. This is a life or death situation. Yeah, vape it up, boy. Vape it up, boy. Okay. Come on, eat. Okay, this is dangerous, but I really need these. No, 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 no! Okay, this is good, this is good. Okay. I should be good for a while. I have feasted. Let us travel through the depths of the ocean. That guy looks scary. That guy doesn't exist in uh, Stupid Level, the, the level that I like to play. Why am I a little fish that- Ah, he goes faster! This is not good for me right now. I'm running out. I really wish that those things gave air, but they suck you in. Ah, uh, I need air! I need air now. I need it now. Please! Can a sister get a bubble? Please! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! At least you're not hanging on the wall in somebody's den. Lizards, Lizards and, and eggs. Lizards and eggs. Classic. Alright, so basically... 
I gotta keep my eggs. See how this is blue and this is red? I gotta keep my eggs in the bright red ones. If they stay on the blue one for too long, my egg will die. Now, I'm on easy level right now. Um, it's time to be a genius. Genius level. Okay. Okay, this is a good way to practice your aim. Ah, uh, oh, no, that one didn't need to be- Oh, shit, okay, no, 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 don't die. Oh, ah. Uh. Okay, my, my egg's almost cracked. Oh. I'm panicking. This one explodes a lot, which is really bad. No, no. Oh, don't rot, don't rot, please. I need, I need at least one of these eggs to hatch. This one's gotta go quickly to somewhere warm. Ah. Okay, oh. No! These eggs rot so fast! Uh, no! I love how it's eggs and I'm dealing with a spatula. How cute is that? This one's almost cracked. I gotta make sure this one cracks. Crack! Please! 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 Crack! He's almost cracked! Yes! Yeah! I believe in the glory of gaming. This is some- I'm a pro gamer, guys. This is what pro gamers did when they were six years old. No, okay, so this one is more likely to crack, so I'm just gonna make sure that we keep him on the heat so I've got less to worry about. I'm a busy dad. It's really tough being a single dad in this world. Oh shit, put it down. Crack, crack, smoke, crack. Yes! Yahoo! These are my little crack babies. The babies are too young to say it, so I'll thank you for them. Beaver, Beaver dam. Now, I showed this game to Terry the other day. And uh, he really likes it, and I, I really like this little beaver guy, he's really cute. So the object of this game is to uh, take these little wood pieces here and uh, make a little dam. It's got to stretch all the way across here, and I've got to prevent these logs from destroying my dam. Now this log is trying to screw up my dam. I'm not going to have it happen. No, get away from my dam. Get away from my dam, thank you. Now get down there. And now if you go too far down this way, I'll just show you guys what happens. No, no, my dam! No! He walks so slowly! This isn't ah, the most intelligent game that uh, Dr. Brain features, but it's a lot of fun. No, I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close. I'm so close. Ah. Well, that is tail thumping good. Time to show you guys genius, genius level. level. You gotta get this thing all the way across. There's many more logs, and there's an annoying guy. You'll see the annoying guy. You'll, you'll see him. He'll come. He always does. This looks like a wonderful candidate for my dam. This guy. This asshole. <laughs> get away from my dam. He likes to, when you're not looking... Oh, shit. No. No! No! When you're not looking, that guy likes to kick your dam apart. Because, I don't know, I guess he just doesn't like beavers. This fish... <laughs> he makes you spin so you fall down the waterfall screaming. Stop it. You spin for a long time! Ah! Okay, I gotta make this go faster. And not touch my dam! Oh! There's too many things to work! Get away from my dam! This is nice, this is nice, it's looking nice. No, 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 no! 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 Ah! Okay, we're gonna try something else. Caveman Rock! Caveman Rock! Quite a beautiful game, actually. You click on, uh... Click on these little music pieces. That's what that sounds like. That's what that sounds like. Okay, so you want to make a cool song. You want to match what the record player does, so let's see. Okay, so... I got it. Okay, let's see how mine sounds. Oh, I guess I should probably move that up a little bit. I did it. You are the master mixer. Know, thank you. This is why I've always had a talent for music making. What the hell do these two mean? That's it? Okay, let's try to make some music in genius level. Genius level. What do I have to play? Okay, it's a little more sophisticated. A little bit of a reggae vibe. Okay, that's really long. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. Uh, where's the... 
Where's the part that goes bump, bump? There's no part that does the thing I needed to do. Oh, because I have to pick all the different instruments. Oh, that is so brutal. All right, fuck this shit. Alchemy. Alchemy. The goal of this game is to create a second sample of the chemical in the vial on the left. So all of these things make a different noise here. You have a bunch of uh, formulas you can make chemicals with. It's very intelligent. The most frustrating part about this game is that I want this to be put here and he has to just slowly wind it up. Wait for all this to happen. It's gonna come out the other side. Okay, and it's purple. So I've got a purple chemical now. How am I gonna make this chemical blue? So I'm, I, maybe I can take it from purple to blue if I put it through this funnel here. Now, what do you think about that? I like how it just ate the vial as well. Got it. Aced it. I aced it. I'm hitting the check mark. I made it. I did some alchemy. Now, when I was a kid, uh, it was really hard for me to think ahead of the curve the way that this game <laughs> expects you to. But at least he does a cute little dance when you win. Genius, Genius level. Let's go. Le Wait, so this is green, so maybe I'll get yellow if I pop it through here? Oh, shit. No, I was supposed to put it through the funnel. Um, you, we might want to rethink no! our strategy. Gridlock. This is gridlock. You gotta take this car and you wanna get it to here. You would think that he could just go like this, but if there's a sharp corner here, it won't go down. So you gotta take it all the way around. Yeah. Let's just, let's take her through. Okay, so he's gonna go down this way. I'm gonna make him keep going this way. He's gonna have to go. All right. We're just making him go the directions he needs to go to get in here. This is the easy level one. So I'm just going to show you how this works. And then we're going to do expert level. So I think, I'm pretty sure I did it right. Yeah. Come on, Pink. Come on, Pepto-Bismol car. You can do it. The music is... Oh, shit. That's not good. You might want to consider getting a monorail pass. Stop it. I know I don't want the... to drive in this mess. Dr. Brain just roasts you every well, single time I'm you get it wrong. You the stressful music is playing. Will my car make it to the destination? Now it gets a lot more difficult. Gets a lot more counterintuitive. They add a lot of extra cars. And they add things that you can hit that are also driving on the street. But I think this guy's gonna make it. You can cruise with me anytime, baby. Low rider. You just- A little lower. Wow. Good to see you. Let's get to work. All right, let's try some expert level shit. What? As you can see, we've got many, many cars here, and this game is a giant pain in the ass. This came out the same year that Mario 64 came out, and I think that a lot of games like this died when that happened because the challenges became fun in Mario 64, whereas this is a little bit more uh, annoying. So this guy is going this way, so I gotta make sure that this guy stays out of his way so he doesn't hit him. An easy way to do this, well, easy in my opinion, is to, uh, go backwards. Hey! Let's fire up the stereo and hit the highway! This guy's gonna go up. As a kid, if this wasn't my only game, I would have given up on this and played something less frustrating. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Will my master plan be completed? Okay. Well, you're causing a lot of backups. What did you do? Put in a speed trap? Stop making fun of me! Yellow is taking a detour this way so he doesn't hit the blue car. Shit! Okay, we gotta make blue go You're down. going to have to use logic, analysis, and synthesis if you want to complete this puzzle. This guy on the microphone sounds a lot like my dad. <laughs> like, just using big words and making me feel dumb. Okay, let's go, 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 let's go! I did it! Okay. You're causing more accidents than the monkey driving Ooh. school. Let's try it again. Shut up! Oh, you just missed the monkey! We went to the drive-thru and had banana shakes. I'm sure you went to the drive-thru and had banana shakes and it was a really good time. Okay. Let's go! Please! Everyone, just get to where you need to go. Okay, we got two. Got two down. 
Okay, we just need one more. We just need no. Okay, uh, so yellow has to go this way so he doesn't crash. He has to go this way. He's got to go up and around. Oh wait, but then he's just gonna keep going in circles. No. Okay, I think we. Can I only have I one it. CD in my car, and if I, I hear it. super sounds of the '90s one more time, I'll scream. Super sounds of the '90s. That's not retro. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so we're making it. We're making waves. We're making money. He's dodging. He's dodging, and he's there. Your planning strategy paid off. Woo! Brain waves. Brain waves. This is Terry's favorite game of all. Terry was up until 4.30 in the morning last night playing this game. So the brain here gives you a sentence. These two say a little bit about it and you have to do deductive reasoning to find out how how much money each person won. Pair each person with the correct amount that they won. Okay, so what does this guy Debbie say? Debbie won less than Charles. Debbie won less than Charles. Al won more than Charles, but less than then Betty. Oh, so this is the kind of stuff that I I need a piece of paper to get this stuff done because I, it's really hard for me to do this kind of deductive reasoning in my head, but I'm going to try. I want more than Charles, but less than Betty. And Debbie won less than Charles. And so purple means you're not sure. Red means no and green means yes. Charles, but Debbie won less than Charles. Okay, so Al one more than Charles. <coughs> Debbie won less than Charles. <coughs> so I'm gonna assume this is correct. What fulfillment you must feel. <laughs> well, you'll have to I, I don't wanna solve it on camera, but this is, well, I don't even know if I can. This is genius, genius level. Genius level. Ah! Let's just see what they say. Throaty, who is older than at least one of her brothers, is neither bossy nor stubborn. Ah! Isaac, who doesn't load or unload the dishwasher, is younger than John. This is a game for six-year-olds, ladies and gentlemen. This was Dr. Brain. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and also tell me what your favorite games were when you were little that maybe aren't the most mainstream. I feel like retro games, especially like this one, they're just, they're just gems. They're a lot of fun.